so I am going to put limiter on the drums So I don't know, the limiter is not working very well for me. Uh, hmm, maybe I should put a limiter only on the kick drum and then on the rest of the percussion. Let's check again. This is good, like this, I guess. Let's see if there's anything. Now bass lines. Bass lines. I always have like three or four bass lines playing together. This is a habit I have to um, stop. So again, same things, same thing, putting a limiter or slash compressor on the bass line, the main bass line. There is one actually, but it's just doing a side chain. That's all. Let's see how, it, let's see how it looks like on the fab filter. Hmm, when the bass line goes down, it feels a bit like when it goes down in pitch, it feels
So the mid bass line has a volume change in the middle and which makes it difficult to make the automate like if there is automation it's difficult to set another volume. Just take everything six db meaning yeah like this <clears throat> taking away the subtle stereo I don't need it wow so many compressors and putting on the fab filter again my best friend i'm using the fab filter mainly to see what's uh, what's the deal where where are the levels which db it gets to So I can see that the mid bass is really all over the place, which means that this glue compressor is basically um, just taking care of the side chain. So I'm going to put a small limiter and look at that now. going to limit even more What is this one? Uh, that is a very strange. I don't even remember doing it. And if I really need it, I actually think I don't. Let's listen to the whole playback with and without that one. can do without this one groove line so I'm gonna turn it off let's continue water loop I know already what it's I think it's kind of this atmospheric
it says organ but it's actually some kind of a strings from the poly 6 which I used to own as a real synthesizer but then um, not anymore so long story Let's look how at the at the um, at the organ and see where is it now? Lost track. Yeah, this one organ two. Yeah, let's look at it and see where are the levels right now. I would like to have it louder than what it is now. I just wonder if I can put all these softies, the organ and the strings and the hmm and everything that I have here in one group. And then I don't have to put the fab filter limiter and the EQ bass reduction on each track. So let's do that. Let's just, yeah, let's just take everything. So and put them together. So let's see. I have the piano strings. I have a lot of softies here. For example. piano hmm yeah I'll just put all of them together not just the piano not the piano main because that we can hear that later so and also the hmm which is a, a sample that I that I made myself I just hummed uh, but I want to check first what is this ah does it belong Yeah, that's also a my own sample. That's can show you. I just made ta ta to the microphone in different in different pitches, and then I put it on the contact sampler. So, I think I will leave the the hum, the piano main, and the ah uh, not inside the group so that I can um, take care of them individually. But there, are, I have like little percussions, they all can go into a group that I can take care of them all at once for the sake of a CPU. And right, what's this? Tz. Mm. So 
also kind of some kind of repercussion goes to the group. Also this. Where is my group? Yeah. But it just didn't work. Come on, get into the groove. Get into the group. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's a bug thing. Sometimes it doesn't go into the group, even if it is inside the group from some reason. I notice when you transfer um, instruments into a group, sometimes the output is not always the group, so you have to to look for it. That's something here. And look. Yes, everything is, you see, group. Okay, so now let's take all the softies and put them together, which is organ to harp, chords, strings, piano, and another string. And group them in in one place, softies, softies, okay, looks better, and then there is like group violins, although there was a, um, a violin here, Okay. So this is like more like a effects and <clears throat> all kind of noises. Okay. Let's start. drums actually all the so-called bass lines can be also in one group ah, that's a good idea all the bass lines but I need to, to see is this bass line group three uh -huh. something that I probably again don't need Just gonna shut it off just like I think I did that to make a, a stereo stereo feel um, but but I don't think I need it anymore because it just overloads the system therefore we shall Group everything or look. This too we will delete later. So now I can put the effects that I put on the main bass line, I can put on the group. Right, the compressor, 
the fab filter and I can delete it from other places just to save CPU delete ah no we, we have to see now hmm, we have to see or to hear rather Keep the extra limiter on the mid line. I noticed I, I tested these tracks in a, in a, in a club with a really good speakers in a party when I was still in the making of the track of this track for example and I noticed that you hear really really strong kick drum bass line but all the 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 classical instruments were totally gone you just you couldn't hear them this is why I'm going to put them extra loud or present in the mix. This is the usual, reducing the very low basses, especially from the, the piano. The piano is always the most problematic one. And here I'm going to put a compressor, not a limiter, because I noticed that a compressor is much softer.
continue this later. I have a phone call to make. So I'll see you. I'll see you later. I don't know when. But I'll just save it for now and I will continue the mix.